Yeah, if Naruto is your favorite anime, I honestly believe you just haven't watched enough anime. And that's not to say that Naruto is bad by any means, but I personally think Naruto can kind of appeal to everybody and it's not really a niche show. It's kind of like saying that Honey Nut Cheerios is your favorite cereal. You're either a weirdo that likes to ship all the characters together, or you're just a guy that's trying to watch the show and is kind of sick of the fan base. Oh my gosh, we get it, bro. Your show is good. Like, stop trying to put everyone on the show, bruh. I swear, every time I talk to a One Piece fan, it's always, watch One Piece. Drop whatever you're watching right now and watch One Piece. I promise you it's all you need. Like, bro, we get it, all right? The anime is good, but you either have no life if you watch the show or you, like, take it as if it's food or something. Like, I gotta watch two episodes after breakfast. Then when I come home from work, I gotta watch two more episodes. And before I go to bed, I gotta watch one more. <laughs> If Akame Gakyo is your favorite anime, you're very depressed. I'm not gonna say why because I don't want to spoil anything for those who are currently watching the show, but I know that you're very depressed. But at least you guys have the best anime waifu, which is general as death. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you need to hop off to TikTok, like right now. Like, yeah, this anime is good, but if it weren't for the fact that there's like 10 million Gojo edits and like 3 million Yuji memes, this anime would probably be on par with like Hell's Paradise. Speaking of which... Yeah, either way, male or female, you have a bit of a freaky side because of these things right here or this girl right here. But in general, you could also just be a MAPPA fan because you've probably seen these anime on screen as well. I mean, honestly, you guys are just low-key people because I don't see a lot of people bragging about this show. And it's very high quality. <laughs> I swear, you guys just won't go away. It seems like JoJo is always constantly going from being in again to out again. And right now, it feels like it's out again. But I swear, you guys are going to make it in again because you guys think that everything is a reference to JoJo when it's not. Next, you'll say that if Dragon Ball is still your favorite anime, you've got to be in your mid-40s. Don't stop, don't stop, we're in if Dragon Ball is still your favorite anime, you've got to be in your <laughs> mid-40s. Like, there's no way with all the anime that's out, you're still clinging on to Dragon Ball. Like, I get it. It might be your favorite of all time, and it might hold a lot of nostalgia to you, but I I just think you're not giving any of these shows a chance. Also, Saitama is beating Goku. I just had to sneak that in there to get some controversy. Yeah, y'all like to spend money, and even though you probably don't have a lot of it, you sure do love to spend money. I swear, everywhere I look, I always see someone wearing a Demon Slayer shirt or a Demon Slayer hoodie or they got like a Demon Slayer keychain or something like that. I swear, bro, Demon Slayer is selling just as much merch as Naruto did like five years ago. You're an introvert to heart. You're extremely quiet. You have like two friends. Your favorite video games is the Persona series and you're probably a simp as well. But at least you're kind of funny, I, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I put all of ecchi anime in one category because they're all pretty much the same thing. I'm not gonna lie, if any ecchi anime is your favorite anime, you just don't exist, bro. Like, you're you're a loser. I'm gonna keep it real. Like, you're exactly the person that non-anime watchers think of when they think of people that watch anime. Like, you give us a bad rep, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. But, there is one exception to the rule, and that show is... <laughs> If your favorite anime is Prison School, you most likely keep it a secret from everybody else. But I'm gonna keep it real with you. This is the only ecchi anime where I would believe you if you said you're just watching it for the plot. Because the plot is actually good. If you like prison escape video games or movies, then this is the anime for you. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. <clears throat> um, are you, a? Uh, are you okay? You guys take a ton of pleasure out of the little things in life. You savor every moment when drinking that hot cocoa on a cold winter night or eating that ice cream on a hot summer day. It's very easy to please you and you're very outgoing because of that. Oh, and it's really y'all that have the best anime waifu, but don't tell the Akame Gakio fans I said that, it's literally the only thing they have going for them. A lot of y'all are a bit delusional because a lot of y'all like to say that your show was underrated, but it's literally big three. Anyways, I, I never watched this show, but I did hear a lot of great things about a thousand year blood war arc, but even before that arc was announced to be animated, a lot of y'all were saying that this show was peak. This don't look like peak to me. If Hunter x Hunter is your favorite anime, you most likely only claim the first half of the show because you know the second half was just I. That is if you even finish the show because some of y'all are still stuck on Chimera Ant arc. And don't worry, man, I feel ya. You're a very strategic individual and you like to play games that test your intelligence when it comes to strategy, whether it's a card game or chess. You find a lot of enjoyment out of successfully implementing a strategy that you made. That or you just really like drama. Which, now that I think about it, you're probably the second person and you think that you're the first person. <laughs>
You have countless hours on Minecraft or Terraria or both because you know this anime is literally just Minecraft anime. Oh, and please don't go out and tell people that this anime is educational because even you don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> This picture right here perfectly describes what every Tokyo Ghoul fan thinks about all the seasons of the show. And it's honestly a shame, man. But I did hear that the second season of Re was pretty good, but I never watched it because I just don't care enough for the show anymore. But at least you guys have the best anime opening of all time. <laughs> Y'all are very simple people. I mean, you probably find a lot of appeal in Dragon Ball Z. You also might play video games just to blow things up. And you're probably a huge fan of the MCU movies as well. You also probably did 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and 100 squats every day as well. Minus the 5 kilometer run part, because ain't nobody trying to do that. Anyways, like and subscribe.